Yo, what's playing high YouTube? Falcon Games here, here with the beginning of our new Let's Play. Uh, before anyone thinks of it, <coughs> oh god, um, this is not another Fire Red or Kanto. Uh, this is Pokemon Gaia version. Uh, I've recently been looking into this game, uh, and it's been pretty dope, actually. Uh, it's definitely been a fun game so, as of so far. And um, but this is, I'm pretty sure though, beta 2.5. Correct me if I'm wrong, so I think we only go up to the six badge. This might this may or may not be the full game. I have no clue. But let's go ahead and start jumping into this. But um, one thing Pokemon Gaia does, which I actually really like, um, is it gives a lot of the fossil Pokemon a lot of uh, like more like just more fossil and ancient Pokemon, more more of a overview. Like, and I really like that. Um, for what you call, I'm not gonna read this part because this is basically a, the same thing as Fire Red. Oh yeah, boy or girl, I see your new name is. All right, uh, where are we? Pretty sure. Oh, excuse me. Pretty sure that's it's all lowercase. Yeah, it was. So your name is Falcon. Yes. Um, I will be doing voices though, but um, one thing I'm actually gonna start doing though, um, especially after ROM hacks. Is at the end of each ROM hack series, though. Uh, hang on, yeah, we gotta get a new frame. There we go. Always gotta go with the blue frame. Um, it's definitely after I finish each ROM hack, I'm gonna start doing videos basing my thoughts of that ROM hack. So I'm um, obviously for the, this isn't a complete ROM. I'm pretty sure, but I'll still be able to like you know just um give my thoughts about it because it's still a pretty nice game from what I've played. Um, oh hi Falcon. <coughs> oh my! Vo I'm sorry. My voice is um like dead. So yeah, you recently withdrew a research and book from a Cilantro library. Please bring it with you and meet. Re okay, so they want you to meet your re La Quia ruins, right? And they mentioned they broke you broke off from the library. Maybe you should get it from upstairs and bring it with you. <laughs> no, I'm not gonna lie. I honestly, I honestly feel like shit. Um. <laughs> oh yeah, that's right. Um. So, like my voice is like kind of gone right now and so is my throat and as I I'm probably sound very nasally um on the uh, mic which I mean I'm not surprised about um uh, <laughs> fuck shoes running shoes we got the running shoes um but yeah as you guys this is a nice little town though um definitely definitely um what do we call it um what I've, I've played like up to the first gym in this game, and as of right now, I'm not disappointed. Um, so that's why I'm gonna be going ahead and let's playing it. I do have a bunch of games to start let's playing, and I figure this is a nice little like, um, what do we call it? Game to start doing though. Um, honestly though, it's a very nice game though, from what I've seen so far. <laughs> Alright, so so far. I didn't, I didn't really talk to anyone because I was trying not to uh, spoil myself too much of the game. So I'm talking to these guys because I don't know. I actually don't know if I'll get items from these guys. So, um, yeah. And hey, you can't go out there with that Pokemon. It's too dangerous. Okay. Um, oh, no, come here. Um, what do we call it? Okay, do you have anything? You, you're an Orenberry? No? Okay. Oh my god, I'm definitely feeling like shit though. Uh, the elders orbit built the totem poles. It said that their civilization was wiped out by an earthquake. History is fascinating, no? I mean, yeah, it is. I don't, I don't know about anyone else, but I like history. Like, personally. I, okay. I do like history though. Sento Condimions. I don't even know. Honestly, the windows are like. Like, the game is very small for me. Like, to my left, where it's not like on OBS. Um, it's very, very small. It's a very tiny window. So, I actually have an excuse to, like, misread stuff this time. Because, as you know from Sur Surgeons and Fire Red, I am not very good at reading stuff. <laughs> uh, item, 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 item. Potion. Alright, not bad, not bad. Um, what are you, though? My f we fishermen respect skilled trainers. If you manage to capture a team of six Pokemon, I'll reward you. Oh, no, you have no Pokemon. Well, never mind, then. Uh, shup it. Uh, you want to see Premier Ball, so we already have some side quests, which is kind of dope, I'm not going to lie. 
Um, one thing I'm definitely gonna do though is I'm gonna try to use Pokemon that. Ooh, listen to this music. You know, this is probably from Ruby and Sapphire. Um, can you see the spiritual energy here? It's overwhelming. Um, one thing I'm gonna try and do though is use Pokemon I haven't really used before. So that's one thing I definitely like trying to use, do during my YouTube series. Is, um, but let's go ahead and start talking to this old lady. You took your time. These totem poles are fascinating, are they not? For years they have stood here and nobody truly knows what for. They were said to be constructed by the elders of Orbitus. Enough about that though. I called you here because of the book in your possession. It doesn't belong to the library. It's actually a fairy heirloom of mine. I believe the librarian stole it from me. As you can understand, it means a lot to me and I need it back. Would you be so kind? Um, yes, I'm assuming we'll just give it back though. Um, let's just now. What? In that case, I challenge you to a Pokemon battle. Oh, you have no Pokemon. I suppose you're going to have to hand it over, won't you? That's right. Uh, Falcon handed the book to the old lady. Thank you very much. Now, I have business to attend to, but you have helped me greatly. I'll be sure to scold that librarian when I see him next. Farewell, child. Well, shit. <laughs> um... Are you sure? Not a bite. I wonder why this life is so quiet around here. Maybe because it's fucking creepy with old ladies running around? Did you ever think about that, mister? I bet you didn't. Um, alright, so... Dude, I'm assuming there's nothing else to do around here. Let's just go back to Salanto Town. Falcon! Oh. Did you meet up with that lady? She took your book. That's strange. Anyway, I realized you could have been attacked by wild Pokemon just now. That was sort of irresponsible of me, wasn't it? Well, I mean, you're going to send me off into the world alone anyway, so I mean... Well, I've got good news. A Pokemon professor is giving out Pokemon in the library. You should go and check it out. It's about time you get your own Pokemon. Uh, one thing that this game does do, though, which I actually kind of like, um, I'm not going to spoil it just yet, because we're about to uh, talk to him. So, the library... That's what this dude was here for. And alright. At last, I third person! I thought more people would be interested in Philly Pokemon, obviously not. My name is Professor Edward. As you may know, I am the Pokemon Professor of the Orbitus region. I've come here to Cilantro Town. To Cilantro. Yes, yeah, Cilantro. Okay, no, no, it's Cilantro Town. To here to Cilantro Town today and seek out talent. You see, I'm getting quite old. I can't keep up the vital work. My research necessary. Yeah, yes. For that reason, I need helpers. Oh, sh she dipped. She did, that's what you gave her looking like an NPC, bitch. Who are them? I guess the prospect doesn't appear to everyone. <laughs> it leaves you two with the choice of these three brand Pokemon. Please go ahead and choose. So this guy just doesn't even talk. You can choose first. Oh, okay. So one thing that's very cool about this, um, it does give um light to the Sinnoh starters, which I'm kinda liking. I'm not gonna lie, I don't I feel like they've been getting Sinnoh a little bit of hate um as of recent years. So I'm liking the Gaia gives light to the Sinnoh Pokemon, but when I played through this first, I did pick Chimchar, and honestly, I feel like you've seen a lot of these two starters on my channel, and I haven't used Empoleon in quite a while, so let's go ahead and pick Piplup for the squad. I'd like to give Piplup the nickname. Yes, um, I always nickname my Empoleon's Emperor, even though I've probably been spelling them wrong. I hope not. Oh, no, nope, no Tito. Uh, let's just go ahead and nickname people Emperor. Congratulations! I'm sure you and your Pokemon will bond in no time. Anyway, I have a few items to run. Meet me at my house in Argentown. I have one final gift for you two there. I'll give it to you there. So Falcon, I guess we're acting to get... Get... Oh, uh, that's going. <laughs> I guess we're going to get to know each other, hey? I should introduce myself. My name is... Uh, I don't know why, but when I first saw this dude, I'm not gonna lie, he looked like a Chad. He did look a lot like a Chad. Name him Chad, yes, because we're we are the father. <laughs> we are we are the father. <laughs> nice to meet you. I'll see you in Argentown, okay? Oh my god, alright, hang on. I need coffee real quick before we uh, yeah. The coffee's been really um Helping with my sciences. Let's go ahead and check out Emperor. We got a nice and sassy nature. Um, that's actually not bad. Empoleon's got good spadef. Uh, pound and growl. And actually one thing, as you can see right there, it's got like the B minus, D plus, S, I think that is. C minus and E minus. That's um, basically, I guess, the stats rating. So 
I guess maybe when the final version of Gaia comes out, there might be a competitive thing. Because um, one thing I also forgot to mention, this game goes up to Generation 6 Pokemon. Which is um, very cool. Um, check out this Pokemon, cool Pokemon I caught in the woods. Um, so yeah, we already got already got a trainer battle coming into play here. Um, but yeah, this does go up to Gen 6 Pokemon, which I'm liking. I like that a Generation 3 game uh, can give us this much diversity. Uh, I'm not gonna lie, I'm just re I'm really digging it. Uh, okay, so we can't go up there. We can't go up there yet. Uh, so let's go ahead and get go to Arch in town. Oh, <gasps> it's a Beedoof! I don't know why I like Beedoof. Like I like it, but I don't at the same time. Like I don't know. I'm weird like that. Let's go. Ahead, you know, let's go ahead and fight the Beedoof. Let's go ahead and fight. Speedoof. We need the EXP because yes, I we need the EXP because I said so. Um. Oh yeah, even though we're fighting a bunch of trainers, but hey, we don't need this. Um, and those who think this is a like this is a ROM hack of Fire Red, or it's like all the style, tilings and stuff is like Fire Red. But uh, uh, what you call it? It's a diff it's definitely a different game, definitely different style. Uh, we made it to Archentown. Uh, hang on a second. Uh, yes, okay. Uh, let's go ahead and talk to the people. Uh, everyone here is obsessed with archaeology. Yeah, that's one thing I do like though. Um, they give all the ancient and fossil Pokemon. Uh, you're a new trainer, take this. Potion, nice. Uh, okay, no wait, I want to talk to this lady. Uh, I'm an inspiring artist. One day I hope to showcase my work at the Eros Art Club. <laughs> um, nice. <laughs> uh, I'm definitely liking the looks of this game though. Um, definitely, like I said, I've played up to the first gym. I, I just could come as legend amount. We get cut soon, don't we? I don't know. Um, yeah, ooh, we got a Mart, and we should have a center over there too, which I'm pretty sure we saw already. Um, yeah, the tremors keep messing up my furniture. I don't know, I'm bothered. Alright, tremors. Are there tremors? These tremors in Arch and Trinal have drowned me like a moth to a flame. I can't resist a good mystery. Me either. Um, this a Redwood residence. Yes, so that's. I come when they're on Arch and Hills. I saw another one that was purple instead of blue. Um, yeah, that's because they're. Uh, uh, okay, I don't know what you said, but I don't really care. The ancient tablet with both perplexes and fascinates me. There's a theory that it depicts Relicanth, because the folk that here first settled to Archentown were taught how to build houses by Willie's Relicanth. Relicanth doesn't even... Cracks run through this and... And tries to delete it. You know, I'm not even gonna try. Uh, so yeah, it's a Relicanth. So like I said, a lot of ancient Pokemon are like getting... Oh, what do we call it? Are getting love, which I'm really digging. Like, I think fossil Pokemon... Like, I actually really enjoy some fossil Pokemon. Like, I really love Omastar. Um, Armaldo I like, uh, also Rampardos, I mean, I like, I actually like Tyrantrum too, I was gonna say, I like both Gen 6, uh, fossils, but I don't know, Roros doesn't really stand out to me. Well, hell, can you made it? Chad and I will just get stuff from the gifts I have for the two of you. I know, by my giving away Pokemon in Town, Cilantro Town wasn't just an act of goodwill, I made the two of you to help me out. At the moment, though, you're both literally unprayed, so I get you started, I made you these, they're your very own personal care packages, take yours, Falcon. To the fat care package and yours, Chad. Go ahead, open. Um, so yeah, we have to go into the bag. Up, oh, no, nope. care package. Jeez. Uh, would you like to open the care package? Falcon, open the care package. Obtain the Ortis Pokedex uh, and a town map. All right, nice. And the Redwood card. I actually, what is the Redwood card? And we got Pokeballs. That is not bad at all. And more potions. Because <laughs> uh, we're clearly doing a Nuzlocke. Quite the set of your gear, no? The Ortis Pokedex. Cool data on Pokemon you capture. The town map is mounted to the Orbitus region. It's handy for navigation. You can stack up more potions and Pokeballs to Pokemon. So finally, the Redwood card. That officially makes you a member of my research team. It might help you out in certain circumstances. Now, as you're aware, the earthquakes that have been happening recently are getting out of hand. I think we should conduct an investigation on what exactly is causing them. I suspect we will find something in Arkham Tunnel. That is where we should head first. I'll see you two there. So, Falcon, I guess we're work partners now. Why don't we extend this to a little rivalry? Let's see who the strongest trainer is. Meet, at the, meet me at the engines of Arkan Channel. We'll fight there. I look forward to it. So, Arkan Tunnel. Um, is there anything else up here? Uh, it's a scientific journal of some sort. There are annotations all over the page. Um, so yeah, nothing else. What's this? The sign says it's a, it's a dome fossil. So, you have Kabuto. You do not have Lord Helix in your house, Redwood. That is very disappointing. Um, Arkin Hills. This isn't where we have to go. That's we have to go up there. But let's explore. Let's explore down in Arkin Hills first. Um, you got a Meryl. I right, miss 
Mr. Merrill. Think we're afraid of you, my dude? Well, guess what? We're not. Bitch. No, give me a level 7. And no bubble? Okay. Uh, oh, so you have bubble. Um, yeah, it's been a while though. I actually kind of want to do a showdown live with Piplup. Alright, not in Piplup. Empoleon. Um, what do you to say? Let's start a cool barge. How will I get to Arrow City now? Swim. Swim, and look at that. Look at that detail. Look at that clean detail in the water. Oh, you. Yeah. Uh, Alright, so. Is that. Okay, so that's cut, so we don't have that yet. Um. Arkin Town. So, is that the last thing we have to do here? Yes. Um, what took you so long? Oh, well, it doesn't matter. Let's have our battle now. Don't hold back, Falcon. Right, oh. Alright, guy, like, impressed me, though. Like, I wasn't even listening to the music when I first played. So, you were challenged by Rival Chat. Rival Chat sent out Turd Week. Um, like, yeah, I wasn't even listening to the music, but, you know, looking at it now, I'm actually kind of disappointed that Gaia didn't, like, have its own little, like, music. Like, rival music, at least. Like, it has to be the trainer battle music. Alright, yeah, that was that was gonna take way too long. <laughs> uh, so Emperor grew to level 8. Nice. Emperor learned bubble. About time. We're about to fight a bunch of rock types, I'm assuming. I'll play a few revival chat. What? How did I lose? Do we only, actually, do we only get 80? In the original game? I don't know. Alright, I can't believe I lost. Oh well, I'll see you later, alright? Alright, so then... Uh, what do we call it? So then we'll What was I gonna say? Oh yeah, we only get 80 in, um... The, like, original GBA games, too? Like, $80 for our first rival battle? We might. I honestly don't know. Ark and Tunnel. Um, what do you have to do, little boy? I lost Stigma. He's my Weedle. We were playing in this tunnel when a tremor struck. When I woke up, Stigma was missing. But no one's going in there until I find him. Hey, that Redwood card. You're another one of the professor's aides. That means you're a strong trainer, right? Please, help me find Stigma. He's somewhere in here. I just know it. Alright, so... Side quest numero... Like, quattro, actually. Um, find the missing Weedle. So, um... Ooh, I don't want to... I don't want to fight a Zubat. Let me run, Zubat. Zubat, I really don't. <laughs> I really don't. Um, Wismer, okay. Uh, right, Bubbles down here now. I thought, we, I don't know why, I thought we learned another move. And, pff, damn, Jesus! Piplo just one shot in people. Ah, coffee getting cold, dude. <laughs> no one likes cold coffee. Um, so yeah, let's explore this cave. <gasps> it's a shell house! Uh, we're at, we're about 18 minutes now. And, oh, don't you start missing them for me. Um, I'll probably wrap this episode when we get to the next town. And start Starly. So, uh, yeah, definitely not a lot of nice Pokemon to start off. Like, there's about... We only found Bidoof in the first row. I think there's Zigzagoon, too. Um, and then I think, like, Taylor. And I'm not fighting a Spinarak. I'm sorry. <laughs> I am not in the mood to fight a Spinarak. And Rog and Rolla. Actually, in Gen 7, they made Rog and Rolla really good. Like, Gigalith, so good for competitive. Like, just with the Sandstream and the pure Rock type. So, like, it's still got the typical Rock type weaknesses. But at least it's not a Rock Steel or Rock Ground type, you know? Um, Wismer can be found here, too. That's pretty nice. Sometimes there are items in the rocks. I was about to say that I didn't. I was about to say, um. That clearly means there's an item in the rock somewhere. Bro, Makuhita? I actually already have a fighting type in mind, but you know what? Let's go. I have a fighting type in mind, but let's I'm here at you anyway. And yeah, like Gen 6, X and Y, um, we do get EXP for catching Pokemon, which is definitely very nice. Give me the name of the caption Makuhita. Yes. Um, Sumo. Sumo is always the nickname. You must nickname the Makuhita. No. Mo. Uh, it just looks like an N. Alright, that's an M, I swear. Uh, let's go check out Sumo. Uh, brave Nate. That's really good, actually. A Brave Nature. And Guts, Tackle, Focus, Energy, and Sand Attack. That's all actually really good. Um, for Makahita. I feel like Hariyama's, though. Like, Hariyama's, like, one of those, um, uh, overlooked Gen 3 Pokemon. Like, it's, it's definitely still a pretty good mod. Uh, wait, uh, no, we have to surf to get that. Damn it. Uh, you trainer? The cave is steaming with wild Pokemon. I don't think I'm prepared. Well, pff, you should have known this, dude. There's Zubat. Do you know what you love about all the caves? All the Zubats. That's why. 
Um, are you a traitor? Yes. Um, but yeah, like I said, I already have a fighting type in mind. Uh, well, I'm pretty sure you can find him here. I think you can find him here. Bruh, are you serious? Are you serious right now, dude? <laughs> you really had to- you had to poison me? <laughs> you had to poison me? <laughs> oh, god, that was- that was beautiful. Um, <laughs> I'm definitely, like, need to, like... I mean, I already took medicine. Do I have an antidote? Uh, I don't. Shit. Um, alright, so do we have to run back? I don't want to run back. We can make it. We can make it. I have a feeling we can make it. Geodude, get off my screen, Geodude. I don't- oh, shit. Okay. That is just more poison damage. 61. I come down here to research the tremors. Can, can you research a, a nurse? Yeah, we're gonna have to go back. This is not the way. Um, alright, so we only have a Makahita. And, oh, okay, yeah, we just have a low health Makahita. So we have to hope and pray that we don't get blown. Okay, well, there we go. Um, <laughs> well, <laughs> alright, well, at least we can put Makahita in the box now. Um, someone's PC, yes. Organized boxes and sumo put Makuhita in the PC box because I already have a fighting type in mind because it's a fighting type I haven't really used before. Even though stereotypical me said that uh what do you call it? Uh Hariyama is like overlooked. But I'm gonna go ahead since we lost, I'm gonna wrap the episode off here. If you guys enjoyed the first episode of our Gaia Let's Play, make sure to smash the hell out of that like button. Make sure to subscribe for future content and for the future of this let's play, because this is already going to be a very promising game and it just looks like an amazing game. Like I said, I've already played the first gym. It's beautiful up to that point. So I'm really hoping that we can get a lot more, like, it's going to get a lot more interesting after that. Uh, also, check out all my social media. They're in the description down below. My name is Falcon Games. I will see you all next time.